Hi, welcome to today's power flow. For today's practice, all you are going to need is your mat, a little space to move. I have Teton, but he is completely optional. We are going to get started in an easy seat, so whichever leg you prefer in front. When you're ready, inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, plant right hand outside of right hip, side stretch over towards the right. Breathing here, creating space across that left side of the body, noticing if your shoulder's wanting to dip down and just encouraging your heart to pull through. So pulling that left shoulder back. Another full round of breath here. Inhale back towards center, both arms lift. Then left hand plants outside of the hip. Right arm reaches overhead. Again, long line of energy here, rooting down through your right sit bone, and then reaching that right fingertip overhead. Breathing here. Then return to center. Arms can lift, then hands come to the knees. Cat cow, inhale to pull your heart through, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, pull through, exhale to round. Give yourself a few rounds here following your pace of breath. And really rocking back and forth. It always feels like I'm over exaggerating these movements in my body. One more full round wherever you are. And then pausing in stillness. You can roll over shins or ankles, making your way to a tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and then tuck your back toes. Lift your knees to hover just off the mat. Engaging our core here. Inhale, lift your hips up and back, down dog. Exhale, lower back to that hover position. Keeping knees lifted. Inhale, lift back. Exhale to lower and hover. Inhale, back towards downward facing dog. Give yourself two more rounds here, lowering down to hover, then lifting back to downward facing dog. One more round. Teton saw core work and decided this just wasn't for him. Meeting back in that downward facing dog. You might walk your hands forward just a little bit. That's kind of a short downward dog. Inhale, reach your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step your right foot outside of right hands for lizard pose. Taking a bit of a funky variation here. Nectar the moon pose, left hand plants into the mat. Roll to the outer edges of both feet. Right arm reaches overhead. Here for just a round of breath. Then right hand back to the mat, soles of the feet to the mat. Step back to down dog. Inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step it to the outside of left hand. Again, nectar the moon on this side. Right hand plants, rolling to the outer edge of both feet. Left arm reaches overhead. Then returning back to that lizard. Stepping back to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach tall. Exhale, fold all the way through Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach tall. Exhale, hands to heart center, adding on. Inhale, reach forward and up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale, fold all the way through. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale for up dog, tops of the feet to the mat, pull your heart through. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Five count of mountain climbers here for five, four, three, two, one. Pause and plank. Hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. 
Inhale, half lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach tall once more, maybe the back bend. Exhale, fold all the way through, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale for up dog, pull your heart through. Exhale, hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Five count of mountain climbers here for five, four, three, two, one. Pause and plank. Hips up and back, down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms forward and up, maybe the back bend. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, hips up and back down dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Five count of mountain climbers here for five, four, three, two, one. Hips up and back down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center, last one. Inhale, arms come forward and up. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to your plank. Inhale and plank. 10 counter mountain climbers. Oh, I mixed that up this time, but we're here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, hips up and back. What a nice little surprise. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. Lifting for high crescent. Arms reach towards the sky. Press into your back heel. Breathing here. Then you'll lower your back knee to hover once more. Inhale, pull your elbows down. Exhale, lift tall. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, lift. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, lift. Hands come to heart center. Straighten that back leg. Shift your weight towards your front foot. Warrior three. Back foot off the mat. Breathing here for just one round of breath. Then hands come to the mat. Shiva squats. So we'll bend the standing leg and then left knee comes to touch right calf. Extend long. We'll be here for a count of 10, but work at your pace. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause with back heel lifted, then left foot to mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to down dog. Other side, inhale, left leg to sky. Exhale, step it between your hands. High crescent on this side. Taking time, feel your base here first. Then lowering that back knee to hover above the mat. Inhale, fingertips lift. Exhale, squeeze down, pull your heart forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus, three more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach tall. Straighten that back leg. 
hands to heart center. Shifting forward, warrior three. Back foot off the mat. Here for just one round of breath. Then hands come to the mat. Shiva squats. Bending that standing leg, right knee to left calf. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pausing with back heel lifted. Right foot comes to meet left. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold, hang heavy. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Tadasana here. Pulling your heart towards your thumbs. Then take your feet a bit wider for Malasana. Heels maybe on the mat, toes splayed off. When you're ready, sink your hips down as far as is available for you. Finding your stop along the way. Taking a twist here. Left hand plants to mat, right arm sweeps towards the sky. Full round of breath. Right hand comes back to center. Other side, right hand plants, left arm sweeps towards the sky. Full breath here. Left arm back to center. Hands at heart center. Then pressing into your heels, lift all the way up to that wide legged Tadasana. Take your arms wide, reach to the sky. Hands at heart center, sink down once more. Flow through that one more time. Left hand plants, right arm sweeps up. Noticing if your knees wanna knock in, totally normal. Try to keep weight towards the outside of your feet. Hands back to heart center. Other side, right hand plants, left arm sweeps. Breathing here, back to center. Pressing into your heels, lift all the way up to that wide Tadasana. Then you can heel toe your feet back under your hips. Inhale, take your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold all the way through. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step just your right foot back. Warrior two, right foot parallel with the short edge of the mat. Pressing into the blade edge of that back foot. Arms at shoulder height. Inhale, left palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior, left arm overhead. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm overhead. Exhale, back to your warrior two. Another round, inhale, palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, right arm overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, turn your toes to face long edge of the mat, pull your heels in for goddess. Sinking down here, arms are in that cactus shape, weight is towards our heels, breathing here. Now pulling hands to heart center, keep this nice bend in your knees and we're just gonna shift, so straightening right leg and then straightening left. Keeping your hips low, just shifting side to side here for five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and center. Arms come back to cactus. We'll hold here for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Straightening your leg, turn your toes to face long edge of the mat and wide-legged forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, half lift, plant your hands, shoulders lift up towards hip height. Exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes, walk your hands back to the top of the mat. 10 count of lunge switches. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Front foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, this time left foot steps back. Warrior two on the other side. 
bending into that front knee, arms at shoulder height. Inhale, right palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, palm flips up, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm overhead. Exhale, back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, toes face long edge of the mat. Pull your heels in, sink down for goddess. This time taking some goddess pulses. So lowering the hips and then lifting. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause when you're lowered, not quite done. Lift your heels off the mat, holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your heels, straighten your legs, turn your toes to the long edge of the mat, wide-legged forward fold. That may be my favorite feeling, wide leg forward fold after goddess. Inhale, plant your hands, shoulders towards hip height. Exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes, walk your hands to the top of the mat. 10 counter lunge switches. Here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pausing here, front foot steps back. Pausing in plank position. Puff up the back of your heart. Holding here for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hips up and back, down dog. Full round of breath here. Oh man. Lifting your heels high off the mat. Knees come to the mat for child's pose. Knees as wide or as narrow as feels good for you. Arms reaching forward. Forehead can rest on the mat. Giving yourself three rounds of breath here. Doing your best to start to extend those exhales. When you're ready, hands start to walk in towards your body, lifting your upper body out of that shape, and then take your knees a little more narrow so they're pointing towards the top of the mat. Come to standing on the knees. We're gonna take a bit of a different variation on camel. I like to tuck my toes for this, but again, if that doesn't feel good in the bottoms of your feet, just release them. And then not coming into our full expression of camel, what we're gonna do instead, hands start at heart center, then open your arms for cactus. From here, start to press your hips forward, leaning your chest back, coming just as far as feels good. We're focusing more on the heart opening, less on the back bending. Here for a full round of breath. Then release, lifting out of it, hands to heart center. You can come to sit on your heels. Maybe hands rest on your thighs for just a moment. Now check in with your body. I'll guide us through one more round of that, but if it doesn't feel good for you, you are absolutely welcome to skip it or take child's pose instead. So we'll lift to standing on the knees if you're joining us. Tuck the back toes, hands at heart center. Open to cactus, really squeezing those shoulder blades. Then pressing your hips forward leaning your shoulders and chest back. Full round of breath. Lifting out of that, hands back to heart center. Untuck the toes, come to sitting on the heels. Hands can rest on your thighs. Full round of breath. And then sweeping your heels out from under your seat. Seated forward fold. This feels really nice after that back bend. So we'll start in staff pose, toes point towards the sky, lengthen the crown of the head. Inhale, reach tall, we'll come into this nice and active. Exhale, hinge forward, then allow your spine to round. Hands fall where they may, maybe toes, ankles, or calves. 
what we're focusing mostly on here, pulling your heart towards your thighs. So again, not concerning ourselves with where our hands end up, just pulling our heart towards our thighs. Head can hang heavy. It's again, just noticing that breath. Might still be working here to lengthen those exhales. I know I am. When you're ready, lifting upper body out of that shape. Soles of the feet come to the mat and then lowering down to your back body. Hips, shoulders, head, all supported by the mat here. And pulling knees into your chest. Happy baby, hands might find the outer edges of your feet, maybe your heels, or even the backs of your thighs. It can feel really good here to hang in stillness, encouraging your knees closer to the mat. But you can also bring in some movement if that feels good. Might feel really nice on the low back to gently rock back and forth. Or you can play here with straightening one leg and then the other. Just whatever feels best for you. There's no right or wrong. No better version than the other. Next round of breath, knees hug in towards your chest, and then bring soles the feet back to the mat, arms out to a cactus or T-shape, shift your hips a bit to the right, knees fall to the left. Gaze might drift over that right shoulder. We have about three rounds of breath. I wanna challenge you to find your way into your most relaxed state on this side in that time. It's just kind of melting in there. Use your next inhale to point knees towards the sky. Hip shift towards the left, knees to the right. Gaze might drift over that left shoulder. Three rounds of breath, relaxing into the shape on this side. Not rushing your breath. You can use that next inhale to draw yourself back towards center. Scan your body if there's any other shapes that would feel good, taking them here or pulling knees to your chest. Arms wrap around the shins, forehead up towards the knees. Nice little yogi hug. Then extend into Shavasana. Legs extend long, arms extend long. Allow yourself to be heavy here. Allow yourself to take up space here. Reminding ourselves this pose is just as important as any other pose we did today. And I'll let you know when it's time to come out.
body can remain still. If it feels good and is available to you today, you're more than welcome to stay in this place of rest. If it's time to close out your practice, start with gentle movement. You might deepen your inhales and exhales, scrunch and release the face, wiggle fingers and toes, maybe even a nice good morning stretch, fingertips overhead, toes opposite direction. And when you're ready, guide yourself to a fetal position on either side before pressing yourself up to a comfortable, easy seat. Eyes can stay soft or closed here, giving yourself time to feel into some gratitude for showing up today honoring your body with movement, a little bit of rest, feeling proud of what your body's able to do. We'll close with a collective breath. You can inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Exhale, draw your hands back to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you for being part of this rad community, and I hope you have a lovely day.